control. Here I am, I'm attacking, I'm attacking. Sometimes you're going for the Americana and they move their hand down. So the, the Kimura is the Americana's ugly stepsister. I take my hand, it's very similar, on the wrist. My other hand goes under the tricep and I reach through and figure four. Come this way just a little bit closer. Now there's a couple ways I've seen this taught. Um, I like doing it this way. What I do is I, I just drop my hip. Watch my legs back there. Actually, go back, coach, and, and see if you can watch from the back. You got, you got a little more slack there. All right. So what I do is I have this locked up. I straighten out this, and then it gives me more movement to twist. All right. Again, here I am. Hand on wrist. Press it down. Reach under and figure four. Now, what I do is if I stay on my knees, it's hard to turn it the way I should. I'm actually trying that to turn, and I can't rotate my body enough to get it. It's very physically difficult. I can't do it. I straighten this leg out, and that makes it easy. All right? Now, some people, I've seen it talk where they come up and they step over the head like that. I don't necessarily like doing that because I don't like taking my weight off of a guy. I like, if I have a guy caught in side control, I want to keep my weight on him. See, my weight's on his chest, chest on chest. I straighten this out, that lets me rotate a little more. There, I keep his hand on the ground. You may want to try to experiment with stepping over here. Uh, they both work. I just prefer keeping my weight on his chest. Either uh, for testing purposes, I want to see you keep um, your weight on his chest and straighten your leg out. All right.